Hello guys, welcome back to the Tax Strong YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to fill up the and complete the childcare expenses on the Tax Strong web application. So we are going to be starting on the dependents page and there's a sentence that says, do you have children or financially support another person? So for this question, you'll be clicking yes and then next. The next thing you will do is to fill out the necessary details that you have for your dependent. So in my case, I'm going to be naming this person, Charlie Henry, and he is born in 2007, January 1st. And we will be using a fake SIN number here. And I will just say he is a son. All right, so these are all the basic details filled out for Charlie. Obviously, whichever details or uh, information applies to you and that you have for your dependents, you fill out uh, in this instance. Uh, there's several other questions I'll ask about your dependents. So did Charlie live with you in 2020? Uh, and in this case, I'll just say yes. And then Charlie's net income. So if you have a child that is under the age of 18, but he still is, is gaining income from a job, then you can fill out in, in the box uh, in this one right here. But for now, I'm just going to say that Charlie in this instance receives no income. As it is, I think I'll just move on, click next. This will take you to the dependent summary section. And so over here, it will show you uh, the first name. In my case, it will be Charlie, the social insurance number, the date of birth, and uh, if you want to check back on details, you can click on previous. Uh, and yeah, this will show you the summary of things here. Now, if we go click next, over here, we'll show you the childcare information. Uh, now, the following that says here, did you pay for childcare? Let's see if you can reduce the tax payable for each of the children you pay, you pay child care costs for. Uh, and then it goes on to say, did you pay for daycare or for someone to look after your child in 2020 so you could do any of the followings? Earn income, go to school, or conduct research. And then it goes on to say, claiming childcare. No, childcare expenses must generally be claimed by the spouse of lower income. However, there are certain circumstances under which the higher income spouse or common law partner may make the claim. So anything that applies to you in this scenario and once you've confirmed these details, uh, you can go over to where it says, did you pay childcare? And then you can click on yes for that. And then next. Now on this page, I'll take you to the actual form for childcare expenses. So once you're on this page, there is a section that says dependent's name and the dependent that you created for, in my case, Charlie, I will click on uh, Charlie's instance because that's the one I just created. Now, if you have multiple dependents that you can choose from and you wanted to choose a specific one, you can choose from that list. It will be a drop down list. And if you want to create multiple childcare expenses, you can do that. But in my case, I'm just going to pick Charlie. In the next box, it says childcare expenses paid to. So this is referring to the childcare facility that you are paying for childcare expenses here. So for, we're just going to say, child care facility and then here we have the social insurance number identification number or uh, relative 24 box h so here you can put in the business number for that child care facility or right, so i just filled out the business number for this child care facility again what, whatever the business number that you have on the child care facility that you are paying your child care expenses for you input that in this third box and then the next one, it says number of weeks spent in a boarding school or camp. So if, if this applies to you, you can put that amount of weeks in this box. However, for the case of simplicity, we're just going to keep it at uh, blank. And then finally here we have total paid. So this is the dollar amount of childcare expenses that you have actually paid for this childcare facility. And so you, whichever of the amount that you have paid for, you put that in this box. Now, in this case, I'm just going to put $2,500 that I paid to childcare facility over here. All right. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. 
If you want to check out our other YouTube videos for tutorials and help, be sure to do so and have a great day.